Some days are rough. Some days are tough. Eddie, we've seen both fighters in the ring. Your first impressions of them? Well, as the fighters become more experienced, their workout time has become less. <laughs> you see Campbell Hatton doing about 20 rounds on the pads, dripping with sweat, and then you see Alexander Usyk and AJ doing a couple of rounds, a bit of juggling, and thank you. No public here tonight because of COVID restrictions. We're bringing them in for the big weigh-in on Friday. Initial thoughts? Alexander Usyk looks big. The neck looks thick. The shoulders look uh, well-toned. But then AJ got in the ring and looked absolutely huge as well. Just a brilliant fight. You know, you've got the unified heavyweight world champion against the undisputed cruiserweight world champion. Two Olympic gold medalists from London. Two pound-for-pound -pound greats. I'm extremely nervous. But AJ is in a really good place. I'm really excited about the challenge of Alexander Usyk. I love that narrative that it was only, what, a few hundred yards from where we are now, the Copper Box Arena. They both struck Olympic gold. Their paths have kind of been on a collision course, haven't they, for a while? Yeah, and, and I think the one thing about these guys is they're pure fighters. It's all about legacy. You know, and, and I know they'll financially they'll do well at the weekend, but I promise you, for AJ and Usyk, this is just about legacy. This is about AJ beating a great fighter and adding to an incredible resume. You know, you go back to Dillian White, Charles Martin, Dominic Brazil, Eric Molina, Vladimir Klitschko, Carlos Takam, Joseph Parker, Alexander Povetkin, Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz, Kubrat Pulev, and Alexander Usyk. That is a 12-fight run of elite heavyweights at their time when he faced them. This guy has got a resume like we haven't seen in heavyweight boxing for a long time. People should respect him. And if he can beat Alexander Usyk on Saturday, who is already in the pound for pound list, AJ needs to get a lot of credit for this because this is one tough fight in what will be a stunning night at this Tottenham Stadium. Not seen a stadium like this before. Back from COVID, nearly 70,000 people in there. This is gonna be an unbelievable event. How important was it on that? point to have the fight in front of fans in a big stadium really important because we've missed it so badly i mean he had to fight in front of a thousand at wembley against kubrat pulev it did feel like twenty thousand, but coming back to leeds a couple of weeks ago twenty thousand. you know we're seeing fans coming back it makes a big difference and even on that show we saw when the fighters walk, walked out they were nervous again even though they'd made that walk before so don't underestimate aj's feelings or usik's feelings to being back around that amount of people. It is nerve wracking, especially when there's so much on the line. But what a great moment for British sport, especially British boxing, to see an event of this magnitude return after the pandemic. What sort of a threat does Alexander Usyk pose? And just how dangerous a fight was this for AJ to take? A huge threat. And there would have been many fighters and many champions that would have just parked the belt and gone, you know, we're looking in another direction. For AJ, the focus on Undisputed will always remain. And the only way to do it is to maintain the belts. He has to beat Alexander Usyk to keep the Undisputed dream alive. And he wasn't prepared to swerve the challenge of Alexander Usyk. He's not that kind of guy. Definitely a top five heavyweight in the world. Again, maybe the number one heavyweight in the world. This is a scary thing. And you go back to great cruiserweights of the past that have gone up to heavyweight. You talk about Evander Holyfield. It took him a couple of fights for people to recognise him as a true threat to the division. Usyk's box with a spoon and then Chisora. People are saying, has he got it, has he not? Maybe, now he does. I hope he doesn't, but he might do. But it's just, it's a great battle of minds as well. One thing that's so scary about Usyk is his mind and his ability to work out an opponent and to outthink them. But AJ, AJ wants to show his skill in this fight as well as his brutality. I just hope we see a little bit more of the brutality. Does this fight boil down to who deals with this week and indeed the night the best? You mentioned there about the minds. We've seen Usyk, he's an eccentric character, isn't he? AJ is always cool, doesn't give too much away in fight week, does he? But is that gonna be really key? I just think you go back to, you know, it was December 2019 where AJ boxed in Saudi Arabia, okay? It wasn't an electric atmosphere that night, it was 16,000 people. Earlier that summer, he boxed Andy Ruiz in front of 18,000 people, and it was going back to Alexander Povetkin, I think in October or November, when he was at Wembley. That was 2018. So we're three years on from that since he's boxed in this kind of... I promise you, both guys will be shocked by the atmosphere, the noise, the spectacle that they will see. So I'm, I'm having this conversation with you. I'm very nervous myself right now, which is a great sign for viewers and fans because this is going to be incredible. But I don't think it comes down to how these guys handle that, that occasion and fight week. It comes down to the fight. 
Can AJ establish his jab and his size? Can he put dents in Alexander early? Can Usyk get into a rhythm in this fight and use his ring and use, use the movement? You could debate the fight all day and that's when you, you know you've got a cracker. And looking ahead, I'm pretty right, I think I'm right to say there's a rematch clause, isn't there, if Usyk wins in this one. Obviously, the eyes will be across the Atlantic in a couple of weeks as well. Mm. Fury Wilder. It's been talked about almost like two semi-finals. Yeah. Is that how you're saying? I mean, you've obviously got moving pieces. Yeah, I think the good thing about this fight and, and the respect it's getting is we're not talking too much about the undisputed mm. fight because we've got business to take care of on Saturday. Um, yeah, you know, any champion fighting a challenger, rematch clauses always exist. We're not intending to use that rematch clause. We want to see a victory for AJ on Saturday. We want to see Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder. And hopefully, as we thought before, though, the paths <laughs> will meet. Um, but right now, with the size of this fight on Saturday, it's all eyes on Alexander Usyk.